giving all praise on the glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechachwadash, the hardness of the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. And it's a serious shalom to the occupant that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. This is going to be an extremely uh, quick video. You can tell by the title. The laws of the Bible are, are for your health. They're not just ceremonial. You know what I'm saying? They're not just there just to say, hey, you can't eat this because it's just against the law. The laws of the Bible is for your health, man. You know, there is a reason why, you know, the Lord told you not to eat pork. There's there was there was a video that uh, the elder Banat Zabba had did not too long ago. And, you know, a lot of awful lot of Christians say say the same thing where they say so-called Jesus uh, died, you know, for to to give us a free life and free us from the law. What, what kind of power would do something like that when the law is is there for our health? There's a reason why he told us not to eat that type of stuff, man. But then the guy goes and goes and sit up there and say, well, the same ones that say don't eat the don't, that that say don't eat pork are the same ones that got crabs and shrimp on their plate. Two things. Number one, uh, you're talking about Muslims, okay? Because Muslims do say say stuff like that. We don't eat pork, but we eat the crabs, we eat the shrimp, and all types of crazy crazy you know stuff, lobster and all that stuff like catfish. Uh, and another thing is. By you saying that is, you know that pork is wrong, you know that crabs is wrong, and you know that lobster, shrimp, and all that stuff is wrong, and all the abom all, all of those abominations it, it are wrong. So by you even saying that, you know you know what you're doing is wrong, right? My question is, and again, I I, ha I have the same question for each and every last one one of you Christians that like coming up and saying that we're free from the law. What exactly did the law tell you to do so wrong? Is the law going to kill you? What's what's wrong, man? Why do you want to get rid of it so badly? I'm going to get we're going to get a scripture after I read this one, right? That's going to talk about what I just now asked. There is nothing bad about the law. What, what did the law tell you to do, right? That that that's so wrong. Don't eat certain things because it's not good for you. And all you got to do is okay. You see it in the Bible. Well, let me go Google why why I shouldn't look at. Do you look up the do you look up the diets of these animals? Right. There is a reason why the Lord told us not to eat that type of stuff. But these are the same problems. These are the same people that, that cry and complain about the earth being messed up. Well, you're taking the cleanup out of the water. You're taking the cleanup off the land and you're eating it. Every creature of God is most is absolutely. I agree with you. I agree with you on that. Every creature of God is good. Every creature of the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai is good for their own purpose. We're food, but are, but are we supposed to sit up there and go take a person to eat them? I don't think so. All right, because we we will be food to other to other animals, and and that there we are for them to eat when we die off. Other insects and stuff like that, right? But these are the same. Again, I'm going to get a scripture. I'm going to get the scripture. But these are the same people. When you tell them that you eat crickets, they look at you like you're crazy. But they'll eat a crab. They'll eat a pig. What's wrong with eating crickets? They're clean. They're clean. They're clean. Uh, they're clean things to eat. Look at their diet. Right? Look at their diet. <laughs> it's for your health, man. It's not just ceremonial. It's for your health. Right? 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is given, all scripture, keep that in mind, all scripture, okay, is given by inspiration of the Most High. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. This all ties into your health, man. Right? This all ties into your health. Not eating certain things. And not overeating because you got some people out there that, that, that don't eat pork, crab, shrimp, and everything. And it's still crazy wide, man. The scriptures tell you to uh, have balance, have control over your spirit. And have a balance and control over your spirit. Through this, And the only way you are really going to be able to do that is if you pray to the Lord. Because we're surrounded by unrighteousness and infirmities. Is watching your diet. And watching and watching what you eat, and not eating certain things, right? 
there was a pastor that I did a video on, I think, I think I did a video on it. Um, he calls himself putting syrup and, and whipped cream and whatever else on the Bible to, 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 it's all for attention, man. Right. To try to tell his audience, his audience to, to take care of themselves when the Bible tells you to take care of themselves. I mean, take care of yourself. The Bible tells you that. Again, all scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High is a profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. When you read the Bible, it's a big instruction book. I'm going to, I'm going to say that again. When you read these scriptures, when you read the scriptures, it is an instruction book. That's that's that that's all that's that's all this is. It's, it's one one big one big instruction book. That's all it is. It tells you how to eat, it tells you what to eat, it tells you how to behave, and it tells you how not to behave as a man and as a woman. The scriptures tell you that a man and a woman is not equal. By by you saying that a woman is equal to a man, you are putting her in further danger, believing that she is believing that she is a she is a man or just as capable as a man to do certain things, and when they get messed up. Here comes all the simps, right? Running to the rescue after you set up there and put her in danger, telling her that she is that she is uh, equal to a man. That is not healthy, right? It is not healthy. It is not helpful, and you are not loving anybody by telling them stuff stuff like that. You you could do whatever it is you want to do, right? When knowing that you cannot do that, you're telling them to be unruly. You can't do that. You see what happens when you when you get rid of the scriptures, man. You see what happens. You can thank you can thank Esau Eden for that, man, for taking our heritage away. But do you see what happens? Because you, you see the same people that sit up there and say, "Well, the Bible was written by man." But I'm focusing more on on, the, on these Christians that sit up there and talk about these things and say you don't have to worry about the law. The laws of the Bible are for is for your health. The laws of the Bible is for your health. You should not kill. You should not cut. You should not commit adultery because adultery comes diseases, man. With adultery comes diseases, and this is why you got so many sicknesses and pestilences out here, right? Well, one of the main reasons, let me say, what to eat, what not to eat. You know what I'm saying? How you know what I'm saying? Just all of the all of this stuff is laid out for you, and you and you people don't don't want to follow it because you say it's tampered with man or the Lord or or Jesus died. To free us from 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 the law, and why would you say something like that? What, what, again, my question to you, Christians, and I'm going to continue to ask ask this, and I know I'm not going to get a legitimate answer. But why do you want to? Why do you want to get rid of the law so bad? What exactly did the law tell you to do? Put down pig. What's wrong with that? It look Google why you shouldn't eat that crap, man. Where did Jesus, so-called Jesus, right? Where did he eat pig? Where did he eat crabs? Where did any of those, where did, where did any of those righteous men eat anything swine-like, man? You know what I'm saying? Or or anything that's meant to clean up. And you throw a bunch of crabs in the in the water now, man. They might they might just die off, man. Because that's how messed up it is. Because it's been so long without them being being, man. When I watch when I watch some of them videos and they be fishing, the 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 the, the, the crabs out, they catch so many of them, man. And it's just like wow. The shrimp too, right? And then when you take out the crabs, they're starving out the, the stingray because they they the stingray eat they eat crabs too. Because they're meant to do that. The stingray will clean up too. You got some people that eat them too. Okay, we're going to get one more scripture. First John chapter five and verse three. This goes to the question I just asked. What did the law tell you to do so wrong? Why do you want to get rid of it so bad? Right. First John chapter five, verse three. For well, this is the love of God, mm -hmm. right? That we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. Look, man. Look, 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 look. This is why I get sick of you people talking about, hey, I know the Bible. I read the Bible front to back. 
you know, I know the Bible, every scripture, every verse. Why are you not doing this? It literally just said the love of God is to keep his commandments to the very best of your ability. I'm not sitting up here saying that you can keep it like, like these other Israelite, these false Israelite groups sit up there and say, well, it's all about the law, the law of faith. This is just long story short, because this is not a video on that, on that subject, but it's, it goes to the law of faith. You got to have faith in order for you, in, in order for you to even follow the, follow a, a percentage of these laws, these, these laws of the scriptures, you got to have faith either way, which proves one thing. Law and faith go hand in hand with each other. Okay. So these, but so I'm not going to sit up there and say you can follow the law all the way. You know what I'm saying? Again, the scriptures say be faithful unto death. There are going to be certain situations you ain't going to be able to wear your fringes and stuff like that. Okay. But these people out here, these Christians, so called that call themselves Christians, which really, really annoy me. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not a Christian sitting up there saying, well, the law of the laws of the Bible are done away with. You're not a Christian saying things like that. You're evil. You're an evil sinner. If you're a Jake, you're an evil sinner, man. You're garbage. <laughs> Pretty much. If you're saying stuff like that, you're not a Christian. Because a, a Christian means anointed. Pretty much. The anointed ones. What is being anointed? Being purified. And you're not being purified eating, eating, eating filthy. Right? And doing filthy things. And say, hey, look, I'm governed by the blood of Jesus. Being a sodomite. And you know what I mean by being a sodomite. A trans or a homo. That's what I mean by being a sodomite. That was the reason why Sodom and Gomorrah. Right? Was destroyed. Because all the filth. All the filthy diets. All the filthy actions, all the filthy gods, man, that these people was worshiping. It's the same thing. This is Sodom, Gomorrah, Babylon, Egypt, Assyria, uh, 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 Rome, Greece, all over again, man. All over again. Bundled in one. This is why this place is going to fall much harder, man. Now, we ask you people out there, do, do, do the so-called black people, we're not going to go to Native, Native American and 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 uh, Latino because you because our people don't like them for for you know for nothing anyway. But you ask the average Negro, do you 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 do you really think we deserve what we getting right now? They they more than likely want to say no. But yes, we absolutely do because of what but because of what's being said, because of what's being done. Saying that we could just live free lives. Where in the scriptures did you read that? Where in the scriptures did you read? And mind you, I want I want to keep I want to point this fact out because a lot of a lot of you Christians like putting the Old and New Testament in in different situations. No. This is in the New Testament, First John, saying that the love of the the love of God, right, is keeping the commandments. That sounds like something you'll hear in the Old Testament, right? So that's all I got on this video. But again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat the, the title. The laws of the Bible are for your is for your health. The laws of the Bible are for your health. <laughs> They're not just ceremonial. Okay? So anyway, giving all praise on the glory to your how about Shimbi Shalom.